our own work from Georgetown and around the world has really uh, focused in a couple of different areas. We continue to do work in our vaccines uh, trials to try and increase our understanding of how immune therapy can have an impact in GI cancers, in particular colorectal cancer. We haven't made the kind of strides that they've made in, say, kidney cancer and melanoma and now lung cancers, but we're going to keep working on it because I think immune therapy is uh, really uh, critical. The other main theme that's out there is that we are working on uh, better molecular profiling on all fronts. So some work that I've been directly involved in is called the PARSC trial, and this is really to try and build a better mousetrap around gene profiling in stage two colorectal cancer to understand who needs treatment and who doesn't. So the three categories ideally would be you're cured and you don't need chemo, you're not cured and chemo will help, or you're not cured and chemo won't help. And I think uh, the stuff that we're seeing with Coloprint um, does look promising in being better able to sort patients uh, into those categories. So we have an update of that data here. But on the other front, I think the biggest stuff that's coming out of the meeting uh, and the newest science is refining molecular profiling and specific RAS testing. As we get more and more specific around EGFR targeting and which pathways, which mutations matter, we are getting higher and higher response rates, longer survival, but yes, fewer patients who should receive the drug. So look out for revised, extended RAS testing uh, coming to your clinic. You're going to want to change how you practice regarding uh, use of EGFRs and metastatic colon based on this data.